This is the BritX Be Ready stroller. This is the stroller that we brought to Disney. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like, subscribe, and share. Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And this is a stroller review. So enjoy. You're all the way in. Yay, Luffy. What do you think? Do you like this stroller? So here is the stroller. This is the BritX Be Ready stroller. This is the stroller that we brought to Disney because it has the small enough footprint. It is an upper and lower. And this is the additional skip hop bag that I added on myself. So, super nice. So it includes a snack tray that snaps in right here. And it's kind of nice, I guess if you had a smaller baby, but Eli just takes the snack tray and throws it because he can pull it off. So not a win for us. It has these super nice pads and adjusts fully. So these can go up and down. It's really comfortable, really nice. And the footrest can go down. The footrest can go to several different positions to make the child more comfortable. Hood goes all the way down. It has a nice flip with a vent. With a vent so you can see the child and it can lounge all the way back. So this can fully recline into pretty much a full recline which is really nice and the same with the bottom so the bottom is an optional this is an add-on this is the rumble seat and it has this nice little three-point harness and it can lay back as well so you can have two kids fully reclined taking a nap with hoods just super sweet I jog with this stroller so I do jog with it. it is really great I've not gotten shin splints from it the back tires are really nice. They have these really big um, guards that keep it from spitting rocks. It has a place right here where you can put in a little kickboard if you want to put on a third child, but I personally felt like it would be hard because of the ratio of where the child would be. And this seat can come out, so you can fully remove this rumble seat if you wanted to. And there's one big trick to the stroller that I'm going to show you right now. The trick is how to close it. So it has a secret latch down in the bottom that you flip right here. And then you have to push this button up. So this button has to slide up while you're pushing this lever in order to lay this rumble seat all the way down. Ah. On both sides of the handlebar, one here and one over here, you have to pull these up and the stroller will fold down and it latches on the side right here and then it is ready to go ready to go in your car I would very much advise that if you are getting this car that you put it in the trunk of the car you're gonna put it in because it's really big so if you're gonna buy it it's a mid-range stroller it's running about $5.99 right now with the rumble seat so it's a big purchase and if it's not gonna fit in your car that would really stink and that is not including any additional items so this seat, this top pod can come off. It has two tip latches, one on each side. You can lift it out really easily and put in an infant carrier attachment. So this can go in your top pods. It has attachment bars and it sits in there. This piece is an additional purchase. I think it's $89. And then the attachment pieces on the side, those are another 25 along with this. So the whole setup, the way that you see it, and that's new you can get it used i highly recommend it people don't use these all that much because they are so big and they're hard to fit in their car so just so you can for your own info know that in the front right here this is really nice if you're going on a trip it's a little dirty right now because the kids would climb in and off of it but if you have something in the bottom it unzips all the way so you can access that we put 
waters in there when we were at Disney and it was really easy to get out so that you're not reaching over your child. These are the attachments on either side. And you pull up on the little snaps and it goes right in. The hoods are detachable. You could actually take these hoods off. They attach right here on the side and you can switch them out. I don't. I keep the hood on all the time. I think it's really good. I do keep, keep the snack tray off. I don't like that. Eli throws it. I love the wheels in the front. The wheels turn all the way around. They have a great turn radius. The whole frame is aluminum. So it's not that heavy, not comparatively. The Jovi triple that I had was a lot heavier. And I've also had a couple other double strollers. I had a Chico and it was heavier as well. Even though the Chico has smaller wheels, it has a longer frame and it's a galvanized metal and it's very, very heavy. So this stroller for its size, for the level of comfort that it is, is really quite light. And if you wanted to, if you were really out and you wanted to cover all the way, you can put this down and I have put a blanket over it or a nursing cover that attaches and it really completely covers your child and you can lay them completely flat back like this and they're all covered and safe. So especially if you're going out and you don't want people touching your little baby, you can do that and your older child is protected. Now, without this piece, this is not included. This comes off, I can show you. This is your handlebar, it's a rubberized grip. It has little push buttons in the side so you can adjust it if you want it at a different angle. And it also makes it really convenient if you have uh, another kid who's going to sit in here and wants to climb around or if you're taller. My husband likes the bar up higher, whereas I tend to have it right here and it just helps with your back alignment. If you're gonna push it a long time and you have two big kids in it, it makes a difference. If you're making a decision for a upper end stroller, the Britix Be Ready has done great for us. The one thing that bothers me is the fact that the bottom pod is lower than the top pod and this child loses view. So when we were in Disney, this child couldn't see as well unless we turn the stroller sideways. I know that the City Mini Jogger has the, the pod stacked and the top pod is up here and the bottom pod is closer to the front. And the new Uppa Babies also have that range of visual so that the bottom pod is towards the front and the child can see. So that's the one downfall that I would point out to the stroller is that whoever's in the bottom, they don't get the view. Now, if that's a sleeping child, it's kind of nice because it does keep them quiet. But overall, great buy, really happy with it. We've used it a ton. And so any questions you have, I would be glad to answer them. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell, you'll know when we post. I hope you're wholly happy and healthy. God bless.